Good morning. Welcome to today's devotion for uh, South Harbor United Methodist Church. Today is Thursday, July 7th, 2022, and I'm Linda Mori. Summertime is the time for carnivals, festivals, and parades. In my community in Northeast, the Cherry Festival is being celebrated this week from Wednesday to Saturday. This is usually a pretty big event with people attending from miles around. It is a place where neighbor meets neighbor, friend meets friend, and people reconnect with folks that they haven't seen in a while. It feels great to get out in the community and be greeted warmly by people that we don't see often. A smile with a sparkle in your eye tells a person, even before you open your mouth, that you are glad to see them. Louis Armstrong, in his classic song, What a Wonderful World, says, I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. How true that is. And did you know that in the common, the common farewell and English goodbye began many, many years ago as God go with you? Pastor George Young of New York tells us that in Japan, on the many roads leading to the schools, there are signs that remind the students greetings are the foundation of our social life. Sometimes I think signs like that would be helpful to children, parents, and others in nations everywhere. In the book of Romans, chapter 16, verse 16, it reads, Greet one another with a holy kiss. Now, we don't often greet each other that way with anymore, but sometimes we do. But we greet each other with signs of affection, such as a slap on the back, or a handshake, a smile, or a hug. A friendly greeting goes a long way to making someone's day. The Apostle Paul's letters usually begin and end with warm greetings. Romans 1.7 says, To all in Rome who are loved by God and called to be his holy people, grace and peace to you from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul encourages his readers with love and concern. Scripture says that we're better together than we are alone, Romans 12, 4-5. It can be hard for some of us to commit to community, especially if we're guarded or prefer solitude. But community is God's desire for us and a sign of a mature faith. Celebrating gives us that opportunity, whether it's cherry pie at the pie tent in the festival, or meeting and greeting other parents at the kitty rides. Celebrating together allows us to take our minds off of work and focus on something we can all be thankful for, recognition and appreciation of all that has been done. In this case, a successful cherry season. Our faithful experience our facial expression says more than our words. We should look as if we are pleased to meet the other person, regardless of what is on our mind. Put a smile on your face for the person standing before you. A sincere smile sends a message that you are safe and trustworthy. This is something we can do even with those we pass along the way that we might not even know. It's important to make eye contact when greeting people. Looking at the people that we meet says we are focused and interested in them. If we are staring off somewhere else, we may appear disinterested in them and what they are saying. When we fail to make consistent, appropriate eye contact, people may feel discouraged rather than encouraged. Oftentimes, when we run into people, there are others in their group that we may not know. We can take the initiative when we meet new people. As soon as we approach them, we can say who we are. We don't need to stand around waiting as if someone else is in charge of introductions. We can also include a statement about who we are and what we do. It is not always enough to say, hello, I'm Linda Mori. We can give more information. Hello, I'm Linda Mori. I attend South Harbor Creek United Methodist Church. We should be confident about who we are and what we do. This often sparks interest and opens up a faithful conversation, a fruitful conversation. When meeting and greeting, especially when things are moving fast or there are multiple people in the conversation, it's easy to forget names. I often have trouble with that. It is all too common to be thinking about what 
you are going to say next and not focus enough on other people. But if we concentrate and repeat the name as soon as we hear it, we stand a better chance of remembering it later. Remembering and using names is one of the fastest paths to building new relationships and getting off to a great start. Our goal when we are meeting and greeting other people is to make them feel comfortable and put them at ease. In 2 Corinthians 13, 11 to 12, Paul says, Dear brothers and sisters, I close my letter with these last words. Be joyful, grow to maturity, encourage each other, live in harmony and peace. Then the Lord of love and peace will be with you. By our cheerful attitude and Christian heart, we can be a blessing to those we meet in our church, in our community, in our neighborhood, and at our local cherry festival. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we love you because you first loved us. Thank you that the circle of your love ripples outward in goodwill to all whom we greet in love. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that you have a glorious day.